Who's your buddy? Who's your pal? That's right, B Junior. That's right. It's not any old B Junior video on the movie cave or anything, because I've made the big time, guys. That's right. I finally got featured here on the House of Horror. That's right. Basically, uh, Jay the Stingray, fellow YouTubers, put out the communique, if you will, asking for fill-in reviewers here. And I thought, what better way to get on the House of Horror than to do a good old horror movie review? I haven't done a straight horror movie review in probably a few weeks, anyway, on my channel, or a good month or two since Halloween. Um, I'm basically, I hope that I can measure up, guys. I've been watching your videos uh, for years now on the House of Horror. And uh, I jumped at the chance because I just wanted to sit down and talk some horror. It's been... Uh, you know, we're in December now and haven't got back to uh, any ho really hardcore horror stuff since uh, the uh, Halloween videos that I were doing. Let's not digress, guys. One uh, video that was sitting up there on the shelf just kind of poking its way out at me and saying, Hey, talk about me. Talk about me. It is, and I apologize ahead of time, I have been watching the videos off and on over the years, but uh, I do not know if this one has been reviewed on the channel, so don't shoot me if it has. I'll do my best uh, to measure up to you guys' reviews out there. It is, of course, Graduation Day. I don't know why, guys. This isn't the best slasher out there that can be bought or salt, but uh, it just spoke to me. I don't know. This is the Trauma DVD of uh, Graduation Day. Director's Cut featuring Vanna White and Linnea Quigley. Well, Linnea Quigley may not be a surprising one because she is a, a B-movie screen queen that uh, if you've been around horror long enough, you're going to know who Linnea Quigley is. But the odd one there on the cover is Vanna White. Yes, old Lloyd Kaufman, he is using them to sell the movie. Because Linnea is prominently featured in a role in the movie, but Vanna White, you have to really look hard to spot her. We'll get more, and she's one of the, kind of the minor sub-characters in the movie. Graduation Day at its core is uh, basically a slasher film from the early 80s, I think from 1981. Basically, it centers around the story of a track star that dies, and lo and behold, in true slasher format, the uh, friends of the uh, track star that passes away basically start being picked off one by one, uh, a la Friday the 13th, Halloween, what have you. There's some decent gore in the movie, not a whole lot. It's not a gigantic gore fest as on par with any Day of the Dead kind of level of gore. But uh, there is some decent gore. There's not. There's some not so good gore in the movie if you're a gore hound. You know, I like to put always plug for the gore hounds out there. Um, there's not too much. It's not a really story heavy. It's just your run-of-the-mill slasher clone from the early 80s that kind of jumped on the bandwagon after Halloween came out and then Friday the 13th hit the big time. Bam. The glory year of 1981, this was one that was right in there. I remember great graduation day mainly from the VHS days, the old video mom and pop store days. Uh, that's, that's probably one of the last times I watched that until I got this DVD recently. I bought this around Halloween time this year, but I just couldn't work in a review. And I don't know. I took it. I took in a viewing recently, and it, it was about the same. It, uh, I don't know what the major difference is between the director's cut and the VHS version that I remember from back in the heyday. But uh, this DVD does have an introduction by Lloyd Kaufman, president of Trauma Film, or Traumaville, whatever you want to call it, creator of the Toxic Avenger. He always plugs that because it's his main claim to fame. Uh, optional English subtitles, interview with Scream Queen Linnea Quigley. And also it has a feature, Learn How to Disarm Your Friend in Traumatic Classroom, plus trailers and traumatic goodies. I'm not a big, uh, I mean, I'll buy a Troma DVD if it's the only one to buy out there, guys. Then just kind of give me a little DVD overview there. Um, Troma DVDs historically have been a little more expensive than they should be, if that makes any sense. You do get some extras on some of these, but they're usually only on par with like VHS quality, unless it's like one of their bigger flagship titles like uh, Toxic Avenger or Class of Nukem High that's gotten the Blu-ray treatment, something like that. Usually the quality is not so good, picture quality. But we don't always watch it for quality, do we, guys? We watch it for the sheer fun of the film. That's right. A lot of times I just want to see the film, so I'll get it in the best manner possible or the most accessible DVD or Blu-ray out there. So There's probably a better uh, version uh, in terms of picture and sound quality out there. I just bought this because it was new and it was affordable, and uh, I just wanted to add it to the collection. There's the disc for you. I'm trying to be thorough here on the House of Horror. There is an insert for graduation day. Um, in terms of ranking it against other slashers out there, if you like Friday the 13th, if you like Halloween movies, 
you're really just looking for something different of that era that's probably not didn't go on to become a franchise this one's kind of in there with New Year's Evil um, probably the Prowler you know movies that had decent gore but they didn't go on to make their own franchise so that's why I can say I would definitely try to pick this one up or at least try to jump on Netflix I think for a time there they had graduation day on Netflix uh, instant view so if you're not really just wanting to buy the cow now try the milk on Netflix and see if it's your cup of tea there guys um, it's just a great little slasher kind of in that vibe of uh, I don't know what are some other good ones there that I can just think of those sub those kind of grade B slashers that I've done videos before in the past ones that don't really make the cut they're kind of the junior varsity favorites rather than the varsity if that's that's the best way I can explain graduation day albeit it's not one of the best it's just one of those that I like to watch whenever I've seen all the other ones um, although I like Madman probably a little bit more the thing about it is, you know, so this falls into that category where they just didn't have like multiple sequels of the film. So that's my best way I can explain, uh, you know, Graduation Day. It kind of jumped on the home bandwagon of the uh, holiday uh, uh, slasher favorites or holiday horror movies like Halloween, uh, Friday the 13th, obviously, uh, My Bloody Valentine, uh, as I said before, New Year's Evil, all those kind of films, Happy Birthday to Me. Um, Bloody Birthday, all those, Silent Night, Deadly Night, all those holiday, so what better way to do it? Now, I think by that point, all the good ones have been taken, so they just jumped on, why don't we just do it about graduation day? Yeah. So <laughs> it's one of those deals where I think they were running out of some uh, holidays, and they just jumped on the bandwagon. So, guys, I say at least give it a viewing on Netflix first. Um, I'd probably give it, as far as slasher films go, on a four-star scale, probably about a good two-star, 2.5-star. It's worth a view, but it's not going to be to everybody's liking. I, would, I wouldn't I would just run around and buy it unless you got the extra bread laying around. You just want to chuck the bread out there. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those deals where I feel like talking about it because I, on my channel, at least, I've never reviewed it. And I thought for my, at least my fill-in uh, time on House of Horror here, I would talk about Graduation Day. As I said before, just some notable people in the movie. Uh, Linnea Quigley's in this one. Christopher George, who you know for some... Uh, Think City, Living Dead, and a lot of early 80s favorites like The Exterminator. He's in this one as the coach. Um, is he the killer or isn't he? We don't know. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. I'm not going to tell you the ending, so you got to watch it and watch the whole entire thing. Vanna White, who they plaster on the front here from Wheel of Fortune fame. Uh, Pat Sajak's lady on the show there. Um, she does show up in this movie, but you really you really have to be looking close to find her because I said the picture quality is not too good. It's a real dark transfer. Um, she's in it and out of it throughout the film. She's probably only got collectively about 10 to 12 minutes screen time, if that, kind of collectively put together. Linnea Quigley does have more screen time. It's interesting. Watch the uh, interview on this DVD about her uh, involvement in the film. It's one of her first roles, and uh, she kind of got the role mainly because the actress that they had to play her part wouldn't go topless in a scene. And Linnea, if you know her from other films and other interviews, you know that she, has, she doesn't have a problem with nudity, basically. So... She jumped in there in true Scream Queen uh, format of the day and just went topless, and that's how she got her scene, basically. She tells that in her interview, so I feel safe in saying that. Guys, I say check it out. Try to do an instant view or rental of some kind before you uh, buy the cow, is my opinion. Graduation Day is one of those good grade B slashers I don't think will disappoint over time. Mainly if you're just looking for something different and after you're getting tired of watching all the Nightmare on the Streets and Friday the 13th, if you watch those to death, probably pick this one up and give it a shot hope you guys have enjoyed the little fill-in review here today on the house of horror subscribe to their channel they do they have a great format where they have a different person reviewing every day of the week i would probably jump in and do it myself if, if offered a role but uh i already do a youtube channel and i work's been kicking my butt so i try to do them when on the fly so but give give these guys some props give them some sub love and uh, jump in there and uh, watch all their old videos. they got tons of great videos on their channel. They need more subs to keep that channel going. Rock on, dudes. I'll see you next time. Bye.